Okay, so in part four, we are going to start writing some functions that are going to let us create a new shape, continue a shape, and close a shape. We will be able to test out if these functions work, but we're actually going to need to do some steps in um, parts five and six to make them work completely using conditionals. Um, so to get started, the first thing we're going to do, we're on step five, is we're going to make a function that will be called... Um, when we're making a new shape on the canvas. So we're going to name this function new shape and give it the parameters current x and current y. So to do that, you should be inside your script tag. So I'm before the opening or the closing script tag, I mean. And then you'll go ahead and write function. The name of the function we said was new shape. Parentheses, current capital X, and then current capital Y, curly brackets. And then inside these curly brackets is where all of the actions that will occur when this function is called will go. So one of the first things we want to do is hide the menu. And this goes along with the steps that you filled out on your flow chart. So we said when we started a new shape, we hit the menu. So we're going to set menu.style.display to be none. You need a semicolon at the end of that line. Some of the other things that we said that we would do is we would draw a a sh um, dot at the point that we clicked. So the next couple of steps that we're going to do are either going to be setting up for us to draw that dot or um, to actually create the dot on the canvas where we click. So the first thing we'll do is we'll set the fill style for the, sh uh, the dot and the shape to be the shape color using this line of code ctx dot fill capital S style and these are all canvas um, functions that we can use equals shape dot color which was one of the properties that we had for our shape object up here you can see it right here so we're going to set it to be the shape color we're also going to set the stroke which is the line to be the shape color so ctx dot stroke style capital S for style equals shape dot color if you wanted a different colored uh, line for the outside of your shape, you could change this to be a different value. You could also add that to um, change based on where you click as one of the properties of your shape as an extension. Okay, we also want to set shape status up here for the shape to be true. That means that we are drawing a new shape now. Goes true, semicolon. We're going to give the or set the starting x and starting y values for shape to be the current x and current y that we just clicked on. So shape dot start x equals current x semicolon and then shape dot start y equals current y semicolon. We want to also go ahead and add these coordinates for these click points to the array for our shape. So a lot of this function is updating um, information in our shape object. So to do that, we can use shape.chords.push parenthesis square bracket current x current y semicolon. Actually, before we add the coordinates, we can have it start drawing the shape by drawing a dot using some canvas uh, built-in tools. So ctx.beginPath will let the canvas know that we're starting a drawing path. Then we'll say ctx.move to current x current y. We want it to start to draw a point at the current x, current y. And then we're actually, to draw a dot, we're just going to fill a very, very tiny rectangle. So fill rect, current x, current y. That'll be the starting point for the rectangle. And then we will make it two pixels tall and two pixels wide, semicolon. Press Command S to save your changes. So now we've declared or um, define this function, but we haven't called it yet. So if you refresh your page, nothing will happen. We can actually test it out um, by calling the function right beneath it, and it should draw a dot at some x and y location that 
um, argument that we pass into the function. So to call the function, we can say new shape, oops, shape. And then inside the parentheses, we want to pass some specific arguments. We don't want to just put current x and current y. Nothing will show up. So we want to give those values. Let's try 100 and 100. And that means that the 100, 100 location on the canvas, it should draw a dot. We'll go ahead and refresh the page. We can see there's a very tiny dot here. Our menu hit. It looks like our function is working correctly. So we can move on. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. We're going to start on. Step six, which we're going to write another function that we'll use when we're continuing a shape. So this is the uh, second option that can happen when we're the, when the user is clicking on the canvas. So the user can either start a new shape and draw a dot, they can continue a shape and draw a line, or they can close the shape and fill it in and show the menu again. So we're going to work on continue shape. So we're going to name this function continue shape. This function is also going to get the parameters current x and current y for the current click points, our curly brackets. And inside this, what we want it to do is just draw a line to the current x and current y that we've clicked on, and then add those coordinates to our array. So to do that, we will say ctx.line2 to draw a line to the current x and the current y semicolon and then to actually make it draw the line we say ctx dot stroke um, parentheses with nothing in between them and then semicolon and then the last thing we need to do is add these coordinates to the shape dot chords array so shape dot chords dot push current x current why? It's good to get in the habit of typing these things out. It does help you understand and remember it better. Okay, so let's save that. Now we can test this out. We need to start a new shape. And we'll give it that value of 100, 100 again. And then we'll say call our function continue shape. We want to pick a different value um, so that it actually draws a line to a new point. So we'll say 200, 200. If all is well, it should draw a line. Our menu is hidden as it should be. It did draw a line from 100, 100 to 200, 200. So we look good. We have one more function to write in order to be able to draw shapes. So the next function that we're going to write is one that will close our shape. When we close the shape, we want it to draw a line to the starting x, y point to close the path. Then we want it to fill in the shape. Then we want it to show the menu and we're going to take care of resetting some of the shape um, objects values so that it can start fresh again. So this function is going to be named close shape. It does not get any parameters. So this is something that's a little bit different. We need your curly brackets. So the first thing we'll do is we will have it draw a line to the shape dot start x and shape dot start y and this is the starting point of the shape so that it closes the path. Then we need to call um, an action to happen that will close the path that will actually close the path. So ctx dot close path empty parentheses ctx dot stroke to fill it in and then ctx dot fill to fill in our shape. We want the menu to show again, so to do that we say menu.style.display and we will set it to some empty um, single quotes. We also want to set shape.status back to false because we are now done drawing our shape. And we want to empty the shape chords array, so to do that shape.chords equals empty brackets and that will empty it back out. And we're going to clear out the function using a return line of code. So return semicolon. Save that. Now we have new shape that started out with a point. Continue shape that drew a line here. Let's make a triangle. So we'll do continue shape again as if we clicked this time to 100, 200. 
then we'll call it close shape no parameters semicolon save that let's refresh we should get a triangle if we did this correct and we have a blue triangle and we can see that our menu is showing up again now the next thing that you want to do is go in and add three comments that describe your JavaScript I want one comment for each function and I don't want it to just say this is my function for my new shape give some examples of things that happen so this function will create a new shape and hide the menu would be a great example. So make sure you do that for each function.